This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts. I am here after the scrimmage at Clinton High School and a lot of good stuff for Algonquin today. I think early in the game they could have worked on stuffing the run a little bit, but as we progressed they looked a little better. On the offensive side of the ball, I think they did very well running the ball. Tiago Philadelphia, Jack Branson, those are a couple of guys who had very strong days in the run game. Tight end battle is continuing to play out. Blanchard had a strong day as well as Chris Patius. And I like what I saw overall. There's definitely a lot of things they, can, they have learned from this scrimmage, but I liked what I saw. It's a learning experience. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts. I'm here with defensive coordinator Mark Allen. So I know you're more of a defensive guy, but I did notice a lot of running plays by all three teams today. So first of all, how do you feel the running the running game went for the offense? And second, do you feel we could um, do you feel that we improved on stuffing the run today? I think overall, you look at all three teams historically. They're all three um, running programs, and uh, I think for us, physicality-wise, first scrimmage, we wanted to come out, set the tone, see how well we could run the ball up front with the old linemen, how hard our running backs run, and I think we did that pretty well. You know, obviously, coaches have to check the film, but uh, defensively I thought we held our own. We were physical up front and we tackled pretty well today. Are there any particular running backs on our side that you think had a particularly good day on the field? I think uh, for the older guys especially, you've got to look at Rio. Uh, Rio Ferguson did pretty good and then uh, you know Will Paglia with the second and third group ran pretty hard as well. Yeah. Now, how do you feel the defensive backs that do you feel they were playing at the same level that they have been the last couple of days? They got a couple interceptions once we, once we got full pads on. Yeah, I think you look at practice the last couple of days with full pads, it was, uh, for the DBs especially, I think that was uh, where we need the most work after today, but they still held their own. They played pretty hard today. And I did notice before, leading up to today, they had some pretty good plays in practice. So I'm optimistic that they're going to keep working. Oh, no question, no question. They're definitely going to improve. They're definitely going to keep working hard, and uh, we'll get better. Now one last question. I noticed once again both tight ends very strong day. What do you think about it? I think uh, you got to look at the tight ends, and they have all the potential to be a two-headed monster, and they have all the potential to uh, kind of combo it and tag team it. You know, I said in, early in the week they could go two tights and and run whatever we want, or we could uh, rotate them in and out. And they both played pretty well today. Coach Taylor said it himself that both of them have a unique skill set too, so you could use them in different situations. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts signing off. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts. I'm here with starting quarterback and senior captain Brendan Hermansman. So how do you feel the offense did in today's scrimmage and how do you feel you did personally? Uh, I think the offense did really well today. We have a lot of things to work on, but um, overall we really ran the ball very well, um, especially out of a uh, couple different sets. Um, and we just ran, we executed what we had to do, and it was really good. Speaking of the running plays, I noticed a lot of running plays by all three offensives today. So, first of all, how do you feel we stuffed the run today? And second, was there any particular running back on our side do you, that you think stepped it up? Well, defensively, we have some really good linebackers, some young talent. Uh, Rio Ferguson, um, our starting uh, middle linebacker, and he was he was balling today. He was going hard making a lot of good plays. A lot of other guys were chipping in too. And then on our offense, um, we have a really good variety of uh, running backs who can be put in in any different situation, whether it be outside, inside, whatever we're running. And uh, I think they're going to do really well this year. I think Rio Ferguson was doing stuff on both sides. He's a fullback as well, so he had some good run plays yeah, in there. Yeah, for sure. And I noticed as well, both tight ends had very good days again. I've been talking about it throughout this Gonk Knox that there's been a little bit of a tight end battle I've noticed. Yeah. So what do you think about that today? Uh, well, we're really lucky to have two guys, uh, Chris Patius and uh, Derek Blanchard. They're both six, four plus real good, real good tight ends, DNs, whatever we need them for. They're going to be really useful this season and they're really balling out and competing and the competition between them both is just bringing out the best in them. So. Yeah. I've noticed the last few days especially, they've both been all-out dominant, and they've been a big part of the receiving game. 
Yeah, for sure. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts signing off. I'm here with tight end Chris Patius. Now, Chris, it was a very good day for you on both sides of the ball, and the same was true out of Rio Ferguson. So how do you feel about the young leadership on this team? Uh, definitely a um, strong set of younger guys who are doing well. A lot of leaders overall. Good uh, Younger guys really stepping up this year. It's been great. Yeah, especially... The senior captains have really stepped up the leadership too, and one guy I've noticed is center Ryan Carmody. He, on and off the field, yeah, he's been a leader. Now, you had a, um, you and Derek Blanchard both had another very good day on offense at tight end. So, how do you feel that's been going for you? Uh, me and Derek both working very hard, working every day, trying to get better. And, yeah, that's really it. So, are you happy with the way the offense did today? Yeah, we did great. The runs are strong, the power really opened up a lot, and the, the mesh opened every time, so it works good. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts. I'm here with head coach Taylor Allen after the scrimmage at Clinton High School. So I noticed a lot of good run plays today by all three offenses. How do you think the defense handled it, and what running backs do you think stepped it up for our offense? Yeah, I mean, you look at the defense. Uh, defensively, we got a lot of uh, uh, of studs lining up at linebacker. Uh, the the interior lineman did a great job at filling the filling the holes and then letting our linebackers come off and and read the guards. So they did a really good job at uh, reacting to what the offense was trying to do. Um, then you look at our offensive uh, run game. You know, I think the goal today was to establish the run in our blocking schemes and uh, try to sharpen up some things there. Uh, and that allows the pass to open up too off of our play action looks. So we did really well today overall. Um, the kids are, are happy with it. And, uh, you know, we're going to go back and look at the film and fix a lot of things too. But we're also going to, you know, reward them with uh, showing good plays. Now, running backs have been important since football started. Now, you were talking about looking back on the plays. Do you think there's anything you've really learned from this scrimmage? Yeah, I think the physicality uh, is much better. Uh, if you look at last year's scrimmage film, you're going to see uh, we're not really attacking it the way we should have. Like today, uh, yeah. today we're really aggressive. Uh, it's a physical game, and I think uh, they're starting to see uh, how much uh, you know aggressive and, and what kind of mentality we have to bring on defense. And I think we showed that we're able, very capable uh, defensive team this year especially later in the game, I think that the team it was learning as they went a little bit. And talking about learning as you go, where do you think the team should go from here? Um, I think offensively we're going to start installing some, some more things, throwing some different uh, looks defensively at them. Defensive uh, stuff, we're going to keep it basic. Uh, they're, they're flying around, and that's what we're looking for. The effort needs to be higher. Uh, the energy and enthusiasm has to be higher. But overall, today was a success, and we'll build off of everything that we did today. Now, do you think we could see some of those new offensive plays in the game like Strimmix on August 31st against Franklin? Yeah, I think you're going to see uh, different tempo sets. I think you're going to see us run the ball a lot. Uh, you know, everything that we did today, you'll see. I think you'll see us throw the ball a little bit more, uh, but not much. But we just got to work on the little things. Yeah, you had said at the start that you might be a little more of a passing offense this year, even though running is the foundation. Mm -hmm. I bet you're really excited for week one, but there's still a lot of work to be, get done yep. at this point. At the start of the day, it was nice and overcast and breezy, but as the day went on and people had their full pads on, it got really hot outside. I think in the mid 80s now. So how do you think that affected the team? Well, we got here uh, right around 9 o'clock in the morning, so it was a little cooler. Uh, right when we started, uh, we went offense first, so it did get a little bit more hot. So uh, the kids handled it well. They stay hydrated, uh, but that's something that we're going to have to battle through in September. Uh, so we're excited to, to get that conditioning in. Now, ironically, it's starting to get a little breezy now. If only that could have been the same way during the end of the scrimmage to give the players a little bit of relief while they're starting to tire out. And I did notice a lot of, like, after the defense got to the quarterback, they would stop the play. So were they doing a lot of that just to protect the players for week one? Yeah, I mean, the you have to protect the quarterback. The officials today did a great job at that. Uh, I think the players did too. Uh, and that's the coach's biggest concern. You know, the quarterback gets the ball the most. Uh, you know, he touches the ball every play. So keep them healthy in scrimmages, and then come game time, you know, it's fair game. 
I mean, I think players have been a little sore here and there for Algonquin, but overall, we've kept pretty healthy. Yeah. Only minor injuries, if yep. any. Yep. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts. Now, all three teams are getting on their buses, getting ready to leave. Now, the team, school will start on August 29th for me, as well as all the players, at least the Algonquin players. But there is still one more scrimmage on August 31st as after school starts on a Friday night. Going to be like a mock game day schedule. They're practicing for game day. And so is Franklin. And then September 7th is their opener at Algonquin against Worcester North, the Polar Bears. And now everyone's excited for that opener, but there's still a lot of work to get done. One more week of preseason football. Another scrimmage. And there's going to be a week of practice leading up to the Worcester North game. This is Algonquin freshman Andrew Roberts signing off.